Welcome to the Potter Shop Hotto Tree Farm and Sawmill. I'm Dave Boyd and I'm operating a Norwood HD36 uh, portable sawmill. And I specialize in all kinds of salvaged uh, operations for lumber as well as sustainably grown lumber. But this is uh, pretty typical of what I cut. This is a honey locust log and it's one of the ugliest logs that you'll see. And I thought I might just uh, Put it on the sawmill and see what comes out of it. I'm going to take a pretty heavy slabbing cut from my first cut. And the reason is that's going to leave some big pieces that I think wood turners would like for making bowls out of it. So anytime I'm, I'm working on a log like this, I'm always thinking, who can use what parts and how can I make it as valuable to them as I possibly can. I'll just turn this slab on edge to show you what's inside. With that swirled grain pattern, I think this log is going to turn out some pretty nice lumber. Because this wood is so wide and we want to keep it as wide as possible, I'm going to go ahead and pull the guide. Got the blade guide off and I've got the holder swung up out of the way where it won't uh, interfere with our cut. Now we can go all the way to the edge. Removing the blade guide gives us another six inches of width, but it takes a sharp blade and a light touch to keep the cut straight and to keep the blade from coming off the band wheel. We're clearing the widest part of the log with room to spare. And there's our first slab. It's too heavy to pick up and carry, so I'm just going to set it on the forklift of the tractor and let the tractor do the work. Even at that, it's going to be kind of awkward. We have some beautiful, beautiful wood here. We've got the, the sap wood on the outside. We've got the kind of honey-colored heartwood. And look, this is almost like flame coming through the middle. This is going to make an outstanding tabletop, countertop, or bar top. So what would have been a piece of firewood is going to become a work of art. One of the things that's a little bit different about this sawmill is our dust collection system. So, and you can see it does a pretty good job of uh, picking up the sawdust. Woodworkers like thick, wide slabs with natural edges, so that's what we'll give them. Oh, these things are getting heavy. We're getting kind of towards the quarter sawn pattern now, so you can see the, uh, the grain pretty well runs parallel, and it, and it just almost flows like a river down the log. As ugly as it is on the outside, with a little imagination, creativity, and skill, a woodworker is going to turn this into a beautiful piece. By removing the blade guide, the Norwood HD36 can cut up to 32 inch wide lumber. Not many mills have that capacity. You know, there may be thousands of people that are going to see this table once it's finished, but the great thing about running the sawmill, I got to see it first. 
The job's not done until the wood is stacked and stickered for air drying. In just a couple of hours, I converted a $20 firewood log into over $500 worth of slabs using the Norwood HD 36 sawmill.